why should we, as Democrats, do what Republicans do based on our, why should we do what Republicans do? Um, because it, it seems that... Uh, because that, we want to win. Been working. Uh, because we want to win. Because we want to win. Happy Columbus Day. <laughs> uh, greetings from Brooklyn, New York. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. So let's talk about winning. You heard Mr. Pac-Man? Gotta win. I want to win. Winning is good, right? want to win, right? We want to win with the truth. We don't want to just win for the hell of winning, right? For sake of winning. Is that what winning is? What did the Democrats show us? All about winning, right? They tried to win. They cheated. They lied. They rigged elections. They laundered money. They uh, because that, we want to win. Did they win? No, they got slaughtered because they cheated, right? So here's Mr. Pac-Man, right? Nice young man, 34, MBA. He's talking about winning. He's talking about. He's talking about winning because why? See, the way to win is to become the other side, right? <laughs> That's what he's saying. He says, he says, the caller says, a caller calls in and says, why should Democrats be like Republicans? And then, and he says, because you, we want to win. Now think about the logic behind that, that statement. Because it's really kind of fascinating and, you know, highly toxic to people viewing this thing. And why is Pac-Man important? Because Pac-Man has a half a million, sub, you know, subscribers. Are they real? I don't know. But he's got, you know, 33,000 views on a video or something. So a lot of people paying attention to this young, fine young man. And he's out there telling you that that the way to win an election, right? The way to win an election, a lot of people walking around trying to get away from him. The way to win an election is to become the other side, the other party, right? He goes on, he's very articulate, he's very smart, he's, he knows all the right, he's got a big vocabulary, <laughs> right? But he has no idea how to win, Mr. Pac-Man. You know, this is, at a, at a certain point, it's like, do we want to just continue for the next 20 to 30 years, c keep losing power? From what I'm hearing in your voice, you're like me in that you are, um, I, I, you're an, an idealist of sorts. You want to achieve progress the way that feels like the right way. At a certain point, we've got to wake up and realize this is what it is right now. And at a certain point, if the left eats itself, if you start getting into these sort of tribal battles, you can have the moral high ground and the right will continue to win. I personally don't want that. I'm against that. I want to start winning. Okay. I mean, I understand that. Um, where I'm coming from is the, the people that we have to vote for, we might we might win that seat, we might win that election, but we don't win uh, progressive values. We lose our progressive values. We're trading those for a seat. And I disagree, I and here's why. Let me tell you why I disagree. We have a system right now between campaign finance, gerrymandering, voter suppression, right? All of the media ownership and consolidation. We have a system that we can't change unless we get more control over the political system right so whereas you might say if we play the game we win a seat but we lose the progressive values that we're pushing for we are not going to win on the values unless we win a bunch of those seats now where i agree with you is that there's a risk that if you do too much of that trading, by the time you win a bunch of seats, the people that have won them don't really care about the progressive values, right? don't really care about the progressive values. By the time you win a bunch of seats, the people that have won them don't really care about the progressive values right? because we want to win. I Not a clue on how to win. Right? The uh, then Fed chair, I'll give you an example, Fed, Fed chair Alan Greenspan said that why did Reaganomics fail? That's a good idea. 
Reaganomics was a good idea, right? Trickle down. You give corporations all the breaks in the world and that money will trickle down and everybody will be happy, right? But what Greenspan failed to realize is that Alan Greenspan was the Fed chair under Reagan. And what he failed to realize was that the corporations do not reciprocate. They don't give back shit. <laughs> it's all about corporate profits, right? And he said it on the way out. He said, we made a mistake. It doesn't work. But that is still the economic policy of our land right now. The idea of trickle-down economics. Give corporations all the breaks. Even when they're clearly monopolies, clearly oligarchies, you know, oligopolies, controlled by an oligarchy, controlled by a few people. Even when it comes to that, they still continue the policy. Right? And Mr. Pac-Man believes that a deeply corrupted Democratic Party, who is fully and totally and completely in the pocket of these very people, of these very, very corrupt individuals that rig elections and, you know, buy seats, you know, buy, they buy the politicians, pay them off, that you're going to join them and reform them, you and your all your all your MBA, every your M, your B, and your A. Right? That's what you're gonna do, right? I mean, it's look, it's beyond ridiculous, right? And then you go off on the attack. You're denigrating the people that the truth tells the people that actually stand up against it. You're you're attacking them, saying that uh, that uh, I I fundamentally disagree with their with their ideology. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, man. Look, we all want the same things. You're articulate. You know what you, you, you know. You're, you know the policies. You, but you got to address. You don't side with people that make up fake stories about Russia, or that there's 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 clear and convincing evidence of election fraud. Right? There's money laundering. There's there's you know that these people don't represent the people anymore they represent a, a, a very small 1% ruling class so what's the answer no I mean I believe in passive resistance I believe that less is more that the way to bring down an oligarchy is simply to not contribute is not to participate anymore for example military industrial complex don't join huh? if you want to you want to delete student loans don't pay Right? If everybody is together and one, the power of the people bring it down, bring down a corrupt system, and thereby, you know, honest elected officials then surface, come to pass, come to be, come to the forefront, right? That's how it happens, right? Uh, clowns walking behind me. So it's Columbus Day. Columbus is a racist, right? I heard he's a racist now. The loony left's got him down as a racist. How about you, Pac-Man? <laughs> Are you down with that shit too? Christopher Columbus is a racist? They had to save the statue in New York. They, they were going to ready to... Looney left, they were taking out the Sawzalls. They were ready to cut down the Christopher Columbus statue at uh, Columbus Circle. Right in front of the CNN building. So that's all I'm saying is that you don't you don't join you don't join the enemy. You don't join the enemy. You 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 keep talking about them, you keep squeezing them, you keep pointing at them. And if you did side with the enemy and you realize now that it was a mistake, it was an error in judgment, right? That you can never change what is too far gone but rather start over, there's no shame in admitting that and coming clean and just say, oh yeah, I fucked up, I made a mistake, right? These, there's no talking to these people. Where, where's your, where's it, sh show me any evidence whatsoever of party reform working. There's no evidence of it. They give you just enough and then you're always outvoted, right? They're always one step ahead of you, right? Acacio Cortez, ah, they gave you that one, right? Well, fucking, let's see what happens there. She's probably, she's probably not even going to get elected. 
because you can have Joe Crowley sneak right in there on a, you know, New York politics, come right up behind her uh, in the working class party. So every chance they get, they're going to fuck you over. They're going to continue to fuck you over. And you're just a doormat. You're just Mr. Sheep. <laughs> you run, you're running right into the fire, right off the cliff. And we're here to save you. We're here to tell you about it, right? Hey, why not, you know? Got nothing else to do. <laughs> All right? So, Mr. Pac-Man, get your head out your ass, young man. Fine young man. Fine, fine young man you are with all your hits and all your, all your audience. You tell you sitting there polluting these kids, right? Look, I don't know that. I don't know the exact answer, right? I don't know the. I don't know the exact way to fight. But but falling into the the the, the left right paradigm is is just it's frivolous. It's it's. It's senseless. It's stupid. It doesn't work. Right? You understand that? Right? Because if the if the politics move left, they just the money takes the takes the money off the right and puts it on the left. What you're calling the left? I don't call it left or right. I call it it's it's us versus them. Right? They just move the money around. It's like a poker game. It's like oh, you know, it's like in the stock market. These stocks are down. Okay, we take the money off of this. The down stocks, put them on the stocks that are going up. That's all they're doing. That's politics. That's the stock market. That's politics. But your idea of siding with the brokenness, the brokenness that you're talking about, that you you see, you understand, and that you're going to reform the middlemen. The politicians, you're gonna beat them in a in a rigged in a rigged at the rigged table, table that's rigged 100% for them. You're gonna beat them. You're gonna beat them because you're young and smart <laughs> and so worldly. No, no way. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen.